Hey guys, Zach from Mini Quad Bros here. Um, today I want to go over a new product by a company called Catalyst Machine Works. Uh, these guys are local to the USA, they're over in Texas, and they've came out with a new FPV racing uh, 250 size frame. And actually it's not 250 size, it can be. They have three configurations in one setup. Uh, they've got a 250 millimeter frame that runs five or six inch props. They've got a 290 millimeter frame, and this is all into the built into the same frame. It's just different configurations with different arms that you can interchange pretty much. So uh, we've got the 250 millimeter running five or six inch props. We've got the 290 that's running uh, six to or five to seven inch props, and a hexacopter, a 310 millimeter hexacopter frame, all um, configurable within the same frame. You just need to order, I think, extra arms um, for the different configurations and you're good to go. Um, so this is the packaging it came in. Obviously, I opened it up and had a look first before I did this video, um, but ignore that. Um, check these guys out. I'm gonna put a link in the description below so you guys can check out their stuff. They don't only make um, racing FPV frames, they've got all kinds of stuff. Uh, guy I spoke to, Neil, he's the lead engineer over there and he's super bright and takes time with his products. They've got all kinds of brushless gimbal uh, products. They've also got 3D printed parts they sell as accessories like motor tilts, uh, Mobius cam, and probably some other stuff coming out in the future. All right, so here's everything out of the box. Um, you'll notice we've got four frame plates. Um, this is because it's a clean plate, dirty, for, uh, dirty plate design. We've got the bobbins right here that is going to separate the plates. And the cool thing about this, when you run a clean plate, dirty plate design, when you crash, everything comes apart because the bobbins rip and all this stuff, and it's kind of a hassle to get everything back together again. But they included, um, in this hardware here somewhere, is a couple stops that's going to sit between the dirty plate and clean plate and it's gonna act as a bumper or a stopper. So when the two frames start ripping apart, it's gonna stop it from going any further than a few millimeters, which will keep the bobbins hopefully in place or at least intact and your quad's not gonna be in pieces. So I thought that was cool. Um, the biggest feature about this setup is it's highly configurable into three different um, multi-rotors. So we've got a 250 millimeter quadcopter that fits five and six inch props in one configuration. Um, the second configuration is a 290 millimeter quadcopter that fits five to seven inch props. And then ultimately you've got a 310 millimeter hexacopter you can put together with this. And that's all with just using um, the same stuff here, I believe. I think it's just, you have to add two extra arms for the hexacopter. And then obviously you need the uh, the uh, longer arms for the 290 millimeter quadcopter. So that's really cool. You can switch between different setups pretty painlessly. Um, let's get some thicknesses of this carbon fiber, all these parts. They're uh, 3K, 3K twill weave carbon fiber made in the USA as far as I know. Um, and these arms should be three millimeters thick. Yep, that's good. And these are probably one millimeter by feel. Yep, so that's good, that's standard. Um, these arms are impressive actually, they feel really solid. A um, bunch of different com motor mounting configurations they've got set up for you. Um, another thing I really liked was this FPV cam uh, mount. Um, so most most of these 250 racers, they have a camera mount just like this, but it's set to only fit a 32 millimeter board camera. Well, these guys have set it up so that this will fit um, pretty much anything you can imagine. I'm gonna show you why I like this, because I've got this run cam here. This is a 650 TV line FPV board cam, but it's a little smaller. So I can't fit this without some modifications on my ZMR frames. Um, with this you can, and the cool thing about this camera is it, accept, it, it accepts up to 4S input um, natively without any, any step down or anything like that. So 
you can run this straight off your 4S pack, which I'm gonna be doing um, with no step down. So this lines up perfectly and it's gonna work. We also have, uh, comes with the power distribution board. Um, all the hardware, the bobbins that separate the plates, a uh, pack of M3 nylon uh, standoffs, and I got a couple 3D printed parts from them. I've got a Mobius, tilted Mobius mount right here. That'll sit on top of the frame. Looks like 30 degrees, 25 degrees, something like that. Um, I also got a receiver antenna mount. I'll be using a D4R receiver antenna and that's gonna make it nice and easy to set that up. Um, and these guys here, um, these look like the, uh, to mount the flight controller on the clean plate just over the power distribution board. Um, I'm gonna be running a high power setup and they suggested not to uh, mount the uh, flight controller to the clean plate if you're running a high power setup. So I'm gonna mount mine to the dirty section and um, see how that goes. I want it more locked into the frame, that's why. Um, let's go ahead and get some weights on everything. They say that the uh, 250 millimeter configuration is gonna weigh 150 Gs, uh, 290 is gonna weigh 156 Gs, and the hexacopter is gonna weigh 190 grams. Let's go ahead and get a weight on all this stuff. Um, I've got the 290 millimeter uh, set up, so it should weigh 156 grams when it's all said and done. Um, obviously, there's a lot of extra parts in here and these weigh a lot, so we're gonna be over that. But let's just kind of get a rough idea. Let's see what all the carbon weighs first off. All the carbon weighs 90 grams. Hundred. Obviously, I got little baggies here. They don't weigh much, though. Actually, we won't weigh that. It's not included. Um, so we're at 115 without the uh, stainless steel hardware. Let's throw that on. Oops. So 180 grams, and there's definitely extras of these in here. So that's pretty good. Um, the carbon fiber alone weighs 115 grams, or 90 grams, that's right. So that's good. Let's go ahead and get a continuity test of the carbon fiber to make sure it is true carbon fiber. Just test this out. Okay, good. Good. All right. So we've got one on there, and one on the side there. We should be getting some, yep. And let's go ahead and test this one. Also good. So this is real carbon fiber, from what I can tell. Another thing I forgot to mention is they also sell all kinds of different 3D printed accessory parts. Uh, they ship me out some motor tilts, which aren't here yet, but they basically will tilt your motors forward sitting on the arm so that you get a better view when you're flying and you don't have to tilt so much forward. So it becomes both aesthetically pleasing when you're flying forward and functional because you're reducing the amount of drag when the, the whole frame is lifted up like this to get your forward speed. Well, instead it's just gonna be reduced a little bit. So you'll get less drag on all that tilt. So just an overview, these guys are Catalyst Machine Works. They, uh, they're based in Texas in the USA. They're gonna be quick on shipping. They're excited, they're new. Um, they care about their products, obviously a lot of time went into designing and making all this work interchangeably with, I mean, three different configurations. There's nothing else like that right now. Um, I'm going to be doing a build video, somewhat of a build video most likely soon, and a thread, a build thread in RC groups so you guys can follow along. Um, for components, I can just kind of show you here what I'm going to use. We're gonna be doing a 4S setup to start with pretty standard configuration of the Cobra 2204 1960 motors. Um, these are my favorite motors at the moment. For starting out, I'll probably be using the ZTW 12 amp ESCs, the Spider ESCs. 
Um, now these CSCs are pretty awesome. They come pre-flashed with Simon K51513, the standard one that works with high KB motors. But recently, um, you were able to flash BL Heli on these, or a new version of Simon K that runs one shot. Um, the code got updated, so we can run one shot on these ESCs with BL Heli or Simon K. Um, and these are also uh, dampened light enabled, so you're going to feel a lot of responsiveness when you let off that throttle. You won't get as much float. Um, and I just flew it the first time the other day and I was really excited about it. At first I thought it was just kind of a lot of hype going around it, but it was, it was amazing. So yeah, I'll be using these ESCs flashed with BL Heli or Simon K running one shot and damp light. I'm not sure which one yet. Um, obviously an A's 32, uh, via clean flight. And then I've got a Tyrannus radio. If you don't, you probably should. And a D4R receiver. So that'll be my configuration for the Speed Addict FPV Racing Frame by Catalyst Machine Works. Uh, please check out their website. I'm gonna put a link in the description, obviously. Check out their stuff.